Guys, good morning. How are you doing? Very exciting today. Just going to go and pick up a two iron. Quite a rare two iron. I've been trying to find or get hold of this iron for a very long time. Again, it's another Nike golf club. The Vapor Pro Fly two iron. The one that Brooks had in the bag for a very long time. Literally, recently just got rid of it for the P790 UDI, which again is an incredible driving iron. So there's no surprise why I swapped out. However, I'm excited to get my hands on it. Um, but I do want to give you guys a bit of an update. Um, secondhand stuff's going really well. So can I thank you for the support on that I do want to update you on the Wilson stuff irons didn't expect the response that I've actually got from them they're currently at 510 pounds um, they're brand new so I mean they're kind of worth that kind of money um, uh, but then at the same time I just want to make it clear that I don't want to use my channel or platform to make money from you guys the whole idea of the secondhand stuff is basically to educate you guys that you don't need brand new stuff um, there's loads of good stuff out there and by all means thank you for the support on my second hand business etc etc I try and give guys that message me the best possible price for their second hand stuff and then I try and undercut the market to try and keep the second hand clubs as cheap as possible so I came up with a decision with the profit from the Wilson Star Farms I'm going to give a percentage to charity and a percentage back to Brian as well because um, uh, he basically put all the groundwork in for me to even get hold of the irons um, so I just want to make that very clear I'm not going to promote my eBay stuff, as I said. Um, if you guys want to go and search for it, find it, etc., etc., then I really do appreciate it. But I'm pretty sure I can kind of get it if I didn't have a YouTube channel. That's kind of the idea. I don't want to kind of market myself, um, constantly plugging myself through here to sell my stuff because I'm pretty sure I can sell it with people not even knowing who I am. That being said, I've got a good amount of stock. I do want to show you briefly what I've got. Wilson Staff Irons are all packaged up nice and safe. Um, the stock that I've got now, it's amazing to think this has all come from £100 um, uh, that I invested in those Vega irons. Obviously, we made quite a bit of money off those. So then all of a sudden, I've now used that money. Sorry for the light, by the way. I've now used that money to keep just rebuying, building it up, etc, etc. We have hit a roadblock. I only can list £3,500 worth of kit. Um, a month so hopefully that kind of gets increased as we go on um, and I'm finding some unbelievable deals and whilst I'm finding unbelievable deals I found this two iron which I can't believe what people are paying for it now I'm not going to sell this two iron I'm paying 80 pounds for it um, somehow Andover is the best place in the world for uh, second hand clubs because I keep going to Andover which is 30 minutes from Newbury to constantly pick up golf clubs and um, yeah anyway so I'm paying 80 pounds currently at the moment these things can be listed up to 150 pounds and people have been buying these two irons for 150 pounds over the last three months so I'm literally just going to hit it we'll go up the range test it but I'm probably just going to put it in the bag when I finally do get a house get out the flat have an office etc etc I think it's going to be one of my collector's items just like the Wilson Star finds realistically I think in the future if I come across any more of those I might just collect them they'd be a cool thing just to have on me um, and then potentially they're just going to go up in value because of how well I mean Nike's not going to make any more of them anyway I think I've updated you on everything um, uh, let's go over to Andover let's go and pick this two iron up again guys I just appreciate the support if you wouldn't mind leaving this video a like commenting and subscribing if you're new let's do it there's the bad boy whip just in case anyone thinks I actually earn a fortune from this channel um, oh yeah speaking of Manners Golf boys that went to college with decided up this company they made this icon collection do me a favor go and follow them on Instagram they haven't paid me they didn't even ask for a shout out they sent this really cool box with a t-shirt jumper and hat they've been watching the channel for a while and at least I can do is just give them a shout out and then obviously going on to that I'm starting to get sent quite a bit of free stuff, which is quite interesting. And all I want to say is a disclaimer, if you send me free stuff, I'm not necessarily always going to give you a good review. Um, the integrity and honesty of this channel is the thing that obviously makes it successful. Um, a lot of stuff I get sent is actually really cool, and who doesn't like free stuff? But at the same time, it doesn't necessarily guarantee that I'm going to give you great praise. But Manners Golf, appreciate it boys, thank you ever so much for stuff. Mary's sick of seeing it because it's pretty much the only jump I'm wearing at the moment. Mainly because the amount of weight I've put on a lockdown, and it's the only one that actually fits. Right, let's start talking a bit more golf. So this is actually a two iron version. Brooks actually had the three iron version, which is quite interesting because quite a few people are trying to sell it on eBay going Brooks kept cover, whereas actually had the three iron and it's nowhere near the same spec as what these are. But it is in very good condition. 80 pounds, um, I'm going to pay for it. As I said, I'm not going to sell it. I'm actually going to keep it because it's only going to go up in value. And actually, it's a really cool looking at two iron. Let's be honest, two irons are just a lump of metal and in a stick. Very low loft. 
you hit it well, it's gonna go quite far. And also very good for me because it's easier to control. My Srix in that, you might have seen that, I'm putting in the bag, I bought for 60 pounds. That thing's an animal, best club I've ever bought and it was 60 pounds. I spent a fortune on this game and the best club I've picked up is off eBay. Standard stiff, not even X stiff, two iron, Srix and absolute unit. But again, I do like two iron, so this one is quite special. Right, let's go and pick it up and then get to the range, start hitting it, because we are a golf channel after all. One at two iron acquired, really good condition. Definitely needs a clean, um, uh, but overall really happy with it. Don't know what shaft it is. It's, he said it was stiff flex, which I'm pretty sure it is. It looks like it's been reshafted because that's not the original ferrule as well. It'd be nice for me to kind of build it to what an original two iron when it first came out um, it would have been. Obviously, if I put a graphite shaft in it, that won't happen. So, a bit uncertain what I want to do with it. But overall, 80 pounds, quite a lot of money, but I'm quite happy with it. Quickest rain session of my life. I was supposed to be home about 10 minutes ago to go after the bike. So we just whacked in 40 balls as quick as I can. Don't know what it's going to look like on footage, but we've got something. Let's talk about it when we get home. Okay, back home. Uh, we didn't get in trouble, so that is always a win. Nike Vapor Pro Fly 2 on. As I said, I'll probably hit all of 35 balls. Probably caught the middle four times out of that 35 balls. Um, not the most forgiving two iron in the world. Um, however, it's probably the most like um, P790 UDI or P790 in general in terms of characteristics because it's got such a springy face. When it comes off the middle, you literally don't feel a thing um, and it just, it just goes. It goes a long way. You don't get any spin from the face um, it's relatively high launching considering how small the um in terms of like head design but that could be done to the shaft as i say it hasn't got the label so i couldn't possibly tell you what this is it looks like a dynamic gold only because there's a zero taper from the bottom here but again i have no idea in terms of the like hosel i'm really interested to know i'll have to do some research again a lot of people be like simon should have done it before the video we'll get around to it um, I imagine this is probably a 3.70 which is a parallel tip rather than a 0.355 which is tapered only because it just looks relatively large and I think I have seen these type of heads with a graphite shaft in them as well um, uh, and overall I think this club would look amazing with like a hazardous black 6.5 with a black and um, uh, blue like multi-compound grip because the grip's quite well worn on this. The shaft does seem quite long as well. I think it's quite a bit longer than standard. Anyway, it's a rocket. I was really happy with the way I hit it. And again, I'm really happy with the condition that it's in as well, um, considering that it is a bit old and potentially it would have a lot more wear and tear. So overall, happy with the purchase. You guys have to let me know uh, exactly what you think of the um, general aesthetics and um, uh, the look of the two on and also what I paid for it because 80 pounds let's be let's be realistic for a second hand um, two on is quite a lot of money but there's a lot more out there that are a lot more expensive even the, like the tailor-made UDI's at the moment even like a RSI UDI again keep their price I think two irons are just sought after at the moment especially um, out in the market and as I said if you've got one of these in the garage at home and you're like I haven't used it in ages 150 pounds potentially you can get for one of these it's quite a decent amount of money
Right, I'm gonna finish the video here. I've actually got the rest of the stock to now put on eBay. They'll probably be done today, if not on Sunday. Um, and then I'll be looking out for more bargains. Guys, I hope you like these kind of videos. As I say, I'm kind of uh, self-employed now, at home. Haven't got a studio, haven't really got a golf course, but we're working on that uh, in the meantime. So I hope you like more of these vlog kind of style videos. Um, the reaction I've been getting is really positive and good, which is amazing. And obviously a lot more bigger and better things to come. If you haven't already, please leave this video a like, subscribe if you're new, catch you guys later.